Today, we're going to take a look at 10 different companies that manufacture machines capable of printing concrete, potentially usable in houses or real estate. My name is Jarrett Gross, and for the past three years, I've been traveling everywhere to gather primary sources on these homes, trying to document the evolution of construction. The construction industry is evolving rapidly, and I'm doing my best to cover it. The list today is generated from a grand list of 97 different companies that's available on my private community, Automation Nation. This is just launching today, and you can check it out at the link below. It's the evolution of the virtual village, and it's now $10 a month, decreased from $20 a month, to access virtual tours of the many 3D printed houses I visited, and all the manufacturers of 3D printers for concrete. I don't think there's an equally complete list anywhere else in the world. So if you're someone looking for the most complete list available of printer manufacturers, make sure to join the Automation Nation as I hope to improve the offering of this community going forward. I'm modeling this off of the communities that groups have created in the Tesla YouTuber space. They do a great job providing some insider information that they're able to gather as independent journalists and they share this data with their private group of members that get access to it first in order to gain market alpha. I hope to make this a cornerstone of my YouTube channel instead of relying on outside sources for sponsorship so that I can completely control the product and make improvements if need be. Without further ado, let's jump into these 10 companies manufacturing 3D printers for concrete from around the world that were randomly selected from my list of 97. I really hope nobody gets offended. I used a sheets formula in order to automate the randomization, so it truly was picked uh, completely by the computer. The first company we'll look at today is Impremier AG. They're headquartered in Switzerland, but their website is in German. They have many different renderings of different 3D printers which they've conceptualized, but they've built a couple of them as well. The first one we'll look at is a robotic arm that's on a base and they've been able to print concrete with it. It's just incredible to see when we look at some of the other concepts for their printers how well thought out some of these groups are, which you may have never heard of before. These groups are all around the world and there are so many intelligent people working on pushing construction automation forward. This crane robot is pretty cool. It looks like it is a vertical system that can go on a track. Uh, the track goes around the print volume and it can reach around and print the whole area of the inside of the track. This mobile printer looks familiar. We've seen some like it before. They seem to attach two of them with an x-axis in between. Also, an idea to 3D print skyscrapers. This is no easy task, but they have an idea for it, so it's something we may be able to see more of in the future. The next group is a Ukrainian company called Concrete Flow and they use a double head extruder to increase their output of these modular units which they stack to create many different types of structures. It's an interesting and novel take based on creating construction masonry units that are custom rather than one monolithic structure. We can see here their double extruder heads working at once to create the many modules that make up the elements that they use to make small buildings and outdoor structures. If you take a look at their YouTube channel, they have some videos of completed structures, small bathrooms, fences, all of them are constructed the same way by stacking these eight to 10 inch high construction masonry units that were printed by their dual extruder heads. Now we're on to Strong Print 3D. These guys happen to be on my podcast, and you can check that episode out on the Automate Construction Podcast. They have a gantry system, and I know that they worked partially in collaboration with 20 Additive Manufacturing to develop it. Uh, they have lots of plans to create the ability to print in uneven areas, and they've been testing this new equipment quite a bit, uh, located in Canada. Deltasys eForming is a 3D printer company that has all kinds of smaller printers 
They don't actually feature their concrete printing on their website, but I did manage to find this video of a product they installed for a university, and they created a concrete printer on a gantry system based on a CNC machine. Uh, so you can see how different groups have been able to adapt the different systems to create concrete printers from scratch rather than purchasing one from another group CNC design. Uh, use case number 88 on their website shows this large scale gantry system printing on a bed for Wittiven and Boss. So you might be familiar with them. They've done a lot of projects in Europe. It seems that their printer was done in collaboration with CNC Design. Uh, even though it's not a product that CNC Design lists as readily available on their website, they did supply the gantry uh, for this project. Here they've got some more information, more high def pictures. And you can see the small building they printed as a demonstration structure as well. It's always good to get evidence of what a group has completed because you never know they could have this big printer but maybe it's a hunk of junk and it's not really that capable. So I like to always get uh, primary sources in person seeing the machine operating. This one's pretty cool. It's made by a group called Con Cars and they have a really unique design uh, that operates from a single vertical axis and goes around the central support system to ideally create structures larger than the printer itself. It's just another example of a company that hasn't done a ton of marketing and there are so many companies like this around the world pushing forward construction innovation, creating brand new technologies, new machines that a lot of people have never heard of. Next on the list is Contour Crafting. When I was doing the research for this video, checking out their website, I was excited to see a new video that they had released of their craft trans printer. It's almost like a gantry system, but it only features one vertical axis on a track, so it doesn't have two columns. Apparently they get enough rigidity from this one axis in order to complete their prints. And they've done a lot of military contracts in the past. Contra Crafting was one of the first companies involved in 3D printed construction. So it's good to see them still involved. Here they have a list of the 3D printed construction projects around the world. Unfortunately it caps out at 2015, 2016. It's crazy to think that my channel started around 2019 and there have been so many more projects taking off since then. I got one of their early investors, Werner H. Bittner, on my podcast to discuss the truth about what happened at Contour Crafting Corporation and what they're up to now. Another company you may have never heard of is K-Crane. They have a unique custom designed concrete printing solution right here in the United States. You can see they have plans to mount it on the back of a truck so that they can move it around and print concrete on site. They've been doing some material tests and it appears they have plans to do a large office project as well. I'm constantly inspired by all of the engineering effort going into creating these machines and improving the way construction is done. So many people around the world recognize the need to innovate the construction industry and I believe we're going to see tremendous progress in our lifetimes. The last company I'm going to feature is the most unique on the list, but before we get to that I want to tell you a little more about the Automation Nation. My goal is to grow by one member every day for the rest of the year. This way I can focus on collecting data and research for the group for the long term and spend less time on social media. It's already loaded with things like notes from different 3D printed construction regulations and codes in addition to virtual tours of completed 3D printed houses like this one which is available with the free demo at the Automation Nation link in the bio. This 3D printed house is virtually ready for moving. I charge hundreds of dollars for one hour consulting calls to help people navigate the world of 3D printed construction on my website but with the Automation Nation I'll be hosting regular live Q&A sessions for the entire group and anyone can get access at just $10 a month. Consider joining the Automation Nation so that I can continue providing automated construction intel without the influence of external sponsorship or bias. 
Finally, we have Stack 3D. This is the most unique group because they're using a robotic arm to place bricks instead of print concrete. They're able to assemble these bricks in various parametric designs. It would take someone with decades of experience to assemble bricks with the level of precision that can be achieved with this robot. If you could choose any of these systems for yourself, which would you pick? Let me know in the comments below.